Riverbend Talent on the Big Z, brought to you by the Halfa Music Company and by Mr. Matt Van Voorst of Macias Insurance. And uh, talking tonight about the third annual Rock for Brett Concert for a Cause. Uh, coming up on April 22nd at Casa Loma. Sounds like a fancy place. I know Ingve just played there. Ingve <laughs> oh, yeah. Malmsteen, yes. Are you talking about Ingve J. Malmsteen? Ingve J. Oh, the Malmsteen. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of Ingve Malmsteens out there playing guitar. <laughs> but as you noticed, I, I mentioned uh, Rock for Brett, so we have to say, who is Brett? Well, well Brett, that, that would be the first question yeah. to clear up. And then the other question I got, too, before that, well, not before that, but after this, who are all these people around yeah, me? Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, Torchlight Parade in, in the uh, studio with us as long as, as as well as Brett's father. And uh, we'll get a little more in-depth on, on who they are exactly. So now we know we have Brett's dad here. Yeah. And this is a concert for cause for Brett. And uh, unfortunately, Brett is unable to join us. He is resting peacefully and uh, probably has a smile on his face, like always. And uh, not complaining, right, Dad? That That's was right. was that Brett? Mm-hmm. That was Brett. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, how young was uh, Brett when uh, you found out about this rare brain cancer? Uh, he was 11 years old. Wow. Yeah, he was. Uh, he just finished um, finished school up for the year and was uh, getting ready for summer and getting ready for football camp. And he began having symptoms, which um, including headaches that got so painful that they caused um, vomiting. And uh, we, t- we took him to the pediatrician several times, and uh, many parents of, of kids with cancer will recognize this story. It was dismissed as, um, as a virus, migraines, until finally it got to the point where we needed to have an M- MRI done. We had an MRI done, which showed um, a golf ball size mass, which is the term they used at the time since they didn't know what it was in his brain. They sent us f- um, uh, directly to the the emergency department at St. Louis Children's Hospital. And uh, there he stayed for the next two, two and a half weeks or so until we figured out what we were dealing with. Right, and uh, he fought for quite some time, I guess, until he passed on uh, January 10th of 2018. Yeah, that's right, three and a half years. Wow. And the voice you're hearing is Conrad. I've been calling him Conrad the Caterpillar, but really, it's Conrad Tabresh. Halbrush, yeah, Halbrush. close enough. I, I left an L. I, I, I left an L out. <laughs> <Halbrush>. uh, <laughs> and, and sitting next to him, we've got brothers uh, Matt Engel and Doug Engel. No, Matt, I'm Doug. And they are from Torchlight Parade, uh, one of the uh, bands playing uh, this benefit that's coming up. Uh, back uh, to to Conrad here. The, by the way, the benefit is April 22nd at Casa Loma, which uh, South County. Is that, is that what we're talking South about? City. South City. South St. Louis City. There you go. Casa Loma Ballroom. Casa Loma Ballroom. It's been Ballroom. there a long time. Okay. Ingve just played there. Ing- Ing- I love bringing up that name. Yeah, well, I you know, I know so many Ingve <laughs> Malmsteins. There's like 10 of them I know on Facebook. Me and my brother were a roadie for him. He had tw- over 20 cabinets and over 40 Marshall heads. And the Casa Loma don't have an elevator. We had to go up and down oh, those stairs. Wow. So I mean, oh my gosh, we were sore, but it was it was it was so, fun still, you so, know. So you so you carried them all. Did they all actually have speakers, or were they dummy cabinets for looks? A lot of them were dummies. dummies. I have e- like, even the heads were dummies. I was gonna say I I've, I've been around that long enough to know. Usually, if there's twenty of them, they're not all <laughs> real, man. Smoking mirrors, baby. Smoking <laughs> mirrors is what it's all about. Ever since Shirley Temple, I don't know. <laughs> Good ship lollipop, man. It was a fake. No, I don't. It's a good drink, too. <laughs> uh, so there you go, man. So Torchlight Parade is, is one of the bands. Another band going to be on it. Uh, old friends of the show here, uh, Red, White, and Floyd, doing a, uh, a great Pink Floyd tribute there, along with you guys. Um, and JoJo. Don't forget JoJo. JoJo. We got Jojo Matea, right? Jojo yeah, Matea. Yeah. Now, I, I'm, I'm unaware of Jojo Matea. You guys yeah. know what she's about? Yeah, she's um, kind of like um, hip hop. Kind of, you know, she'll start off the evening at the um, at the benefit, and she'll play for I guess about forty minutes. But um, yeah. uh, so, there, so there's quite the variety going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. you got uh, uh, JoJo starting off with a little uh, 
hip hop, rhythm Starting and blues it off, type yeah. stuff. You got Red, White, and Floyd doing some nice classic Floyd there, and then you guys finishing the night off. Torchlight Parade things get a little heavier, a little darker. Yeah, yeah and all throughout the night we'll be giving away, you know, uh, or we have raffles going on in fifty fifties and and uh, baskets, baskets and. And Bit on the basket, yep. Yeah, and yeah. all stuff all Always throughout the be night. A bucket of booze around there. Oh yeah, like it'll that. be flowing. Yeah. Wheelbarrow full of booze. Maybe That's you'll all. win it, huh? Yeah, those are always <laughs> the ones I look for. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what everybody looks for. <laughs> My cards are on the table here. You know. Ball's in your court, guys. Uh, uh, so The booze basket. Hey, I like what I like. Don't judge me. I'm fine. Nothing wrong with me. $100 can't cure for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the so, wheelbarrow full of booze. Uh, heck yeah. And make any day happy. <laughs> so there you go. So so the uh, tw- April twenty second. This is going to be a, a great benefit. Uh, uh, but let's let's talk a little bit more uh, about you know the the reason for the benefit, which is Brett and and Conrad. Uh, you were telling us about the uh, St. Baldrick's Foundation, which is who you are uh, here on behalf of. Uh, that's where the proceeds are going to go to. Mm-hmm. And I before today was unaware of the St. Baldrick's Foundation. However, I'm very impressed with what you've told me, so let's talk, uh, let's let the listeners know uh, what what St. Baldrick's does exactly. Oh, first, before we get to that, I want to point out the the uh, reason that you, you turn to this foundation, because there aren't many treatments for kids uh, with uh, brain cancer, right? So going through this with your son, you start to realize that this would be a good place to start funding some money because it's not happening right now. Is that is that true? Yeah, that's true. Um, uh, pediatric cancer research is, is terribly unfunded. Um, up until just 2021, it received four uh, percent of cancer funding from the National Cancer Institute. That that that's because of efforts like the um, uh, the St. Baldrick's Foundation. That's recently doubled to roughly eight percent. And again, that was starting in in 2021. Uh, so yeah, treatment options are limited um, to to many kids that have cancer, specifically brain cancer. Right. Uh, you often hear about a eighty um, percent cure rate if you listen to St. Jude commercials. Wonderful organizations like that um, claim that there's a or uh, point out there's a overall eighty percent cure rate, but that's not for all childhood cancers, and certainly not for brain cancer. And that's just counting um, a five-year survival rate from the the time of diagnosis. Uh, my son made it three and a half years. Wow. There were very li- uh, very few options for him and his form of brain cancer. So we saw a need there. Brett's friends saw a need there. And this effort started in 2015 with his um, his grade school classmates and and their parents, and it it just went from there. Okay. So and and, and the uh, foundation is uh, now uh, raising money in his name. Yeah, right? our our so, team yeah. is specifically. Yeah. yeah, the St. Baldrick's Foundation began as an actual legal foundation in in 2005. Um, long before Brett was ever diagnosed. So they've been around for a long time, uh, raising much needed funding for childhood cancer research. And we joined the team in, in 2015 and right. have been working ever since. Right. And, and the name St. Baldrick's, um, tell us where that comes from. <laughs> it, was, it was a play off of um, uh, the St. Patrick's Day, uh, uh, two or three executives, and I, I should know more about the background of the, the foundation, but two or three executives got together and decided there was a need there that needed to be met for childhood cancer research, and so they um, started on their own as just a couple guys raising money for um, childhood cancer research, and it went from there, and then in 2005, they, actual start, they actually started the foundation and now it's a it's a nationwide phenomenon, and there, there's teams like ours across the country raising money for research. Um, usually, um, head shaving events. That, uh, that, that's, that's, that's what, what we're known for. The, yeah, that's where yeah. it ties into the Baldricks. It's it's a play on St. Patrick's, and right. the bald part nice. comes in yeah. from the old head shaving. Yeah, and it's to show um, support and solidarity, uh, you know, for kids, little kids, yeah. including girls, um, who lose their hair. During treatment, yeah, I uh, 
I have not participated in the head shaving, but on multiple occasions, I've done the, the locks for love, locks mm -hmm. of loves, yeah. and where you just cut off the old ponytail and then they'll make it into a wig for a child. And uh, I'm not sure if they want mine anymore. It's great, but back in the day, they <laughs> loved it. No, <laughs> I had yeah. lush hair then. No, yeah, that, that this is a, a great foundation, and and one of the things that uh, that that sort of impressed me too uh, as we've been talking uh, is the uh, Dennis brought up the thumbs up portion of it where uh, you, you're you're choosing uh, you know if you make so much money you, you like you were saying you you decided you wanted your portion to go to uh, children's in St. Louis it's not why uh, maybe I got it wrong but it, it, uh, your you were saying that, that uh, uh, the, because you raise over 10000 a year, mm -hmm. you're on what, the HERO? Yeah, we were eligible to um, establish a HERO fund through the St. Baldrick's Foundation. So um, since we um, are able to raise $10,000 a year, uh, we're eligible for a HERO fund, which allows us to have control over the money that our team raises. Right. And in our case, we do our best to... Um, um, uh, direct that funding to um, to pe pediatric brain tumor research, and we do our best to keep that here in St. Louis. And we've actually um, funded a research grant at St. Louis Children's Hospital uh, by Dr. Josh Rubin, a brilliant oncologist who actually treated my son. And so we're given back now by funding his research right here in the St. Louis area. Nice. And and you were discussing that. One of the treatments that your son had that extended Brett's life was a laser in the brain. Mm -hmm. And these are the kind of research projects that your money is funding that extended the time that you had with your, with your son. And first, just for the audience out there, explain that. It's so phenomenal to hear that this sort of thing is going on because it, it, it helps. It, it gives you more time. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they explain exactly how that worked again, that they were able to shrink the tumor in his brain with a laser. That's right. He, was, he wasn't eligible for um, a traditional surgery, which involves uh, a craniotomy uh, and, and, and resection of the tumor. Uh, so at first he was treated simply with the standard um, of care, which involved radiation and chemotherapy. Um, that worked for a short time. The tumor began growing back. And then he was, I think, the second child in the St. Louis area to undergo the laser ablation surgery, which involves um, making a small incision in the child's skull and inserting a, a probe into his brain. Um, and at the tip of, of the probe um, is inserted into the tumor area. That tip is then ignited with a heat, which burns out the tumor, um, saving the healthy tissue surrounding the tumor. Um, minimizing deficits to to the child. Wow, I mean, a, while it's not the be all end all answer, obviously, what what an amazing thing! And again, that sort of thing is happening because funding for research to make it happen. That's exactly uh, right. Uh, mm -hmm. Just about every life saving technique we have is <laughs> comes from research. Uh, so uh, uh, thanks for all you're doing for that. Uh, you know. Uh, it sounds like uh, you guys are involved with this. The, you, you hooked up with a really good people here with the St. Baldrick's. You said that they're now the number one private funder of research grants. Wow. Yeah, they fund more research grants than any organization aside from the federal government in the whole mm. nation. Yeah, yeah, in the whole nation. Wow, yeah. I, I, you know that's you know that's more than just a little help. That's a lot of help that that this whole uh, all these people together. You know, and, and I know it's not just you. You're just part of the team. But mm -hmm. man. Uh, you got to feel good like you, you, you picked a good team to, to, to join up with there. All right. So you decide, okay, let's figure out ways to raise money, and that's where bands always come to the table. And uh, we love to throw parties, and uh, throwing a party with some bands <laughs> helps raise money. And what better thing for the bands to know they're raising that money for a great cause like this. And that's what we're here to talk about tonight, April 22nd, at the uh, Casa Loma 
Ballroom and uh, St. Louis and uh, the headliners with us. Torch Light Parade. You guys are headlining, right? Or is yes. it Red, White, and Floyd? Uh, Do you guys have are. to flip a coin for that? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be uh, JoJo, then Red, White, and Floyd, then us. Right, right. So. And you guys put on a serious metal rock show. <laughs> but fun confetti yeah. you know possible murders on stage uh, <laughs> some of the members currently not here because of possibly Michael Myers like Danny Nichols who has been murdered on stage yes yeah yes I'm not that's <laughs> not fake news Listen, Danny would have been murdered if he came here because I would have <laughs> slaughtered him with my words why he didn't show up he knows me and him go way back like car seats he yeah. knew I had some I was gonna break out some Jerry Springer style dirt on him if he was here <laughs> Other yeah. members of the band, uh, sh- Shoeless Larry, right? Yes. Right? Shoeless Larry. Shoeless Larry. Larry Indy yeah. Hunter. Yes, right? the, yeah. bass right, yes. the bass player. Right, the bass player. Toothless Larry is what we called him back in high school, just so you know. <laughs> and, and, and just so Danny and Larry know, if you would have come, I wouldn't mess with you so bad. Maybe I would. <laughs> and then there's Matt Billy. Matt now. Billy, yeah. Right, the third it, third guitar player. Yeah, and he's, uh, he's newer in... Uh, so I was always playing the lead guitar, and then we got Billy. So me and him, we do like a uh, Iron Maiden. I was getting uh, ready to say uh, Judas Iron Priest. Maiden harmonies. Like, yes, I, I was getting uh, ready to say dual solos. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah. As soon as you said third so, guitar, the Iron Maiden yeah. was what popped in my head. Yeah. And not that they got three; it's just the the the, uh, the uh, copying solos doing them are uh, one octave up. You know. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. and that's what makes it more fun. You know. Yeah, right, so. right. And then you got Ivan, who's the newest member, the drummer, right? And the youngest member, the too. youngest member, yeah. Yes. Known as Ivan. You need horrible. young drummers for what you guys uh, yes. do. And he come from yeah. the school of rock, right? So he for comes real, from parts school unknown. Yeah. Yeah. My son, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ivan comes from oh, Ivan the Terrible comes from parts unknown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Ivan Engelhart, who so, comes from the school of rock. School of rock, there you yeah. go. And, and you literally mean the school of rock, right? Yeah, in St. Louis. Y- yeah. Yes, in Kirkwood, my son Sam, he's in the school of rock, and then Ivan is also in there, and they're friends, you know, through there, or whatever. But Ivan, we got uh, through the school of rock, and he he's doing an awesome job. So, so we got the two brothers yeah. from Torchlight Parade. Yeah. Now, what we haven't mentioned is the singer is an embalmer. And his brother drives a hearse, and guess what? Dad's involved over here, too. Conrad's not involved. Oh, yeah, he is. Wait! <laughs> I mean, he's Upstairs. the only one dressed like he works at a funeral that night. <laughs> I just left the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now, he didn't get to make the phone booth. <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest, when you, when, you, when you got out of the car, we could see it from the window, and I was like, huh. A rock star, a cowboy, and an undertaker. <laughs> what are they doing here? It was so like it, a joke. Yeah, yeah, I feel like there's going to be a joke here. Is that how you met, though? Through the funeral yeah, brothers. Yeah, they're they're brothers. brothers. They met yeah, I knew time. that. Though they're brothers. I'm talking about over here. Yeah, we worked with Conrad when, when Conrad, uh, he was going through what he was going through and when he lost his son. Yeah. And this we is the all... third annual. Right, right. That's what I was saying. Now, now, does that go back three years or was there a yes. break because you know what happened there for a minute? No, this is our third one. Third in a row. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't know okay. 2020 took, he took you out like so many others. A lot of people just don't count that year. No, and we still we did still it during did that it. year. Oh, we wow. were still successful. We did it at... <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, we did it. Hey, I threw a super spreader event in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> I paid for it, but we did it. <laughs> I'm not judging you at it's all, sick. man. Trust me. <laughs> Yeah, so now we make the connection of uh, how this all kind of got started. Uh, the original first uh, uh, annual, is it first annual or the first? I think it's just the first. Right, thing, yeah, Rock for it. Brett, a concert uh, for a cause, and uh, now we're going for number three, right? Yes, that's And that's right. on April 22nd, as we mentioned, at Casa Loma. And uh, so you guys, like, practice at the funeral home, or...? I'm just curious. I, I mean, do we rehearse there? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I do on my own. I do my own thing. <laughs> I have, I've seen lots of coffins on stage with you guys. So yeah, we bring one. I, I've come out of them a few times. Yeah, with, with, with my hand on fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So so let's go back to the beginning of this band because uh, I mean, you start off with uh, a man people may be familiar with from the band Wasp. Uh, Johnny Rod, this is before, and this is like the original orange origins of this band that develops. So let's let's talk about that. How'd that all get started? Uh, I was somebody introduced me to him a long time ago. This is Johnny Rod. Johnny Rod. Johnny right. Rod from Wasp and King Cobra. Right. And anyways, 
I went over there and he said, hey, you want to meet Johnny Rod? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, I go over there and I jam with him. And then he calls me the next day, hey, you want to start a band? And we'd play it here and there. Well, anyways, uh, my brother, we were looking for a singer. So it was just my brother and John and I. And we, uh, we were doing our thing for a while. And then John kind of got wrapped up in the King Cobra thing and stuff like that, you know? So me and my brother... Years later, we just kept it alive, writing songs, and in about 2016, 17, we just brought it back alive. So, and John, he's come up on stage with us, man. We had Stet Holland from Wasp and Johnny Rod both playing with us with Wild Child. Right, yeah. We opened up for Metal Church where Stet was playing the drums, yeah. and so that Johnny Rod, we had them reconnect and everything, and and uh, Stet said he'd play a song. And we did Wild Child. Yeah, there's a video of that available. Yes, yeah. Is that your YouTube channel that's on? I believe so, yeah. So, yeah, I just searched you guys and found all kinds did of you? stuff yeah, uh, okay. on YouTube. So I don't know exactly. I did check out you guys' YouTube, uh, but mainly uh, the album, which uh, just came out in uh, June. And uh, so, yeah, so so that kind of starts forming. Uh, so who comes next after you two uh, as far as the current lineup? <sighs> Well, that because I would, would imagine you guys have been playing music your whole lives at this point, right? Uh, Growing yeah, I, up together, I have. <laughs> yeah, and you're hanging out, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll like, go for a ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see. We had uh, Danny Nichols and uh, and and Larry Shoeless Larry. Yeah, Shoeless Larry, and then uh, then Billy and Ivan. They're, they're our most recent, you know, right. uh, members that that. That have joined. So since this album, we had we got a new drummer, Ivan, and we got uh, we had another guitarist, which is super cool. So so you had a different drummer on the first album, then? Yes, yes. The the first two albums, yes. Okay, yeah, because yes. there was an EP, right, and then the self titled 2020 release, mm -hmm. and then the current release, uh, Never Laugh When a Hearse ro Rolls By. Yes, because you're right. probably driving it. Don't you I do. do. <laughs> I do drive the hearse, and I listen to it as I drive it. <laughs> All right. So, so uh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> any laughs? <laughs> not, as it, not as it rolls by, he does. He's, <laughs> he's driving, driving it, man. I mean, <laughs> laugh while you want. <laughs> so the EP was the uh, first mission. Now, were those songs that you were writing with Johnny Rod that end up on the first EP, or these new? Some songs? of them, yeah. He. he I got original uh, original tapes or whatever uh, recordings, and uh, he would be on some of them. And uh, then we just took him to the next level, and when we start, you know, rehearsing and rehearsing with the other members, then hey, let's record these things because now we're playing them out. Now we have to people want a CD, so we went out and did it. And then we're like, I got more songs, so we did this, and now we got a bigger band. There's more people in the band, and we're writing again. So All right. we're doing the, another the, fir album. the first album was it was a collection of songs over many years okay. that we put together and put out the album. When Doug and I sat down to do Never Laugh When a Hearse Rolls By, we did that all like six months. Okay. And and it's a kind of a this album is is more of a concept in the sense of it's about the funeral business and, and it's like a from start to finish. I thought whenever he said we put it together in about six months, I really thought he was going to say, we put this together in about eight funerals. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Torchlight Parade, tell them what that means. Uh, it's an ancient uh, funeral procession yeah. at night that they would do. And um, that's where we, we took that from that. And I'm, as an embalmer, I'm the singer. And, and we're all, it's a funeral-based kind of a, of a band so in a fun way though yeah we put the fun back in funeral i guess we put the fun back <laughs> Look, every funeral i've been to is kind of the same there's the room we the deceased is at and everyone's sad there's a room in the back with guys drinking coffee and telling jokes trying to act like it's not as bad as it is out there so there's always that there's always been a bit of humor around uh, funerals, at least the ones I've been to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, and that might be sick on some, but it's usually you know like I say some back room in the funeral home with like a coke machine and a coffee pot and you know probably people smoking cigarettes back in the old days, but yeah. you know not Did they so put much coke now. in machines. Uh, Four nineteen. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, uh, 
So, so I want to get to the self-titled release in 2020. Is that the one that had the uh, Hayden Field video? Yes. Okay, yeah. That's what I wanted to bring up. That's got a popular guy in it that people might know, Michael Myers. Michael Myers. Yeah. So was that the first <laughs> video you guys did? Yes. Uh, well, well hey, we had our, our Torchlight Parade is a song okay. called Torchlight, Torchlight Parade, and we, we filmed that. That was our first video we did. And uh, was taken at the castle in St. Louis. Okay. Uh, a friend of ours, Kevin, owns this really <laughs> cool castle. Wow. And uh, which you guys are more than welcome to come up. It's the best parties, man. Right. Best Halloween Sounds parties. Sounds like some so kind of Illuminati ritual things about to happen here. You guys will fit right in. <laughs> yeah, that's right. See, that's how these horror movies start, <laughs> baby. <laughs> that's how these horror movies start every time. Oh, you'll be fine. I, dude, I can't get caught you'll, in a you'll horror be movie. Fine. I'll be the guy who's like running off with the chick going, hey, come on, let's sneak up to the boat house. And <laughs> <laughs> always die. <laughs> <laughs> the, the um, but that there was a video, excuse me, of Hayden Field right. out there. <clears throat> we just did a, a video on our own. We just made that and, okay. and released that. But yeah, it it got a lot of watches. You yeah, know? I mean, and people always you, ask, "Is Michael going to be there tonight? Is Michael going to be there tonight?" He might be some nights, right? Yeah. So most of the time he is. It depends on the gig, but mm. yeah. You know. I like Michael Myers 4. He's my favorite. Yeah, that's a good one. I yeah. like the, the no, series. No, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just messing with you, man. <laughs> no, I do, man. I do. <laughs> just I wrote the song about <laughs> him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get me going, going on it. Right? Different guy. I don't know. He's a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, th so, so I'm going to say this for the people out in Radio Land because I, I just have to comment because anybody watching a video that is, well, especially if you've seen our videos before, you're going, what is all over the place? These guys brought in more merch than you Oh, can, yeah. Carry home. That's right in the for the sphincter. video. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's like they come in just spreading and, and, and like knives, like little foam knives. That's our Michael Myers foam knife. No lives matter. <laughs> this, yeah. this is what they used to give but me. It's all. It's all an act. It's what all an act. It's foam. It's foam. It's foam. foam. on my fork. <laughs> Man. Shirts, beach, balls. beach balls. Beach balls. I think it was an interview I read where Danny said, you know, that we got a lot of things that are, you know possibly controversial but it's really all about fun which is about That's where right. you were just then uh, uh for a moment yeah so this is you know a good time yeah, and that that's what you get from a torchlight parade space balls in the yeah. flame throw. yeah it is it's, it's family friendly like yeah it's you know and uh we have all kinds of different stuff though but i brought some of it i didn't bring it all but uh, yeah, yeah, we got a lot. But of you have a website for that if people want to check check it's that. It's torchlightparade.com. Yeah, yeah, and it's loaded. There's all kinds of stuff to look at there. I, and uh, what I noticed, and and that's where I'm trying to go with this, is these guys not only put on a rock show, they're theatrical in what they do. Yeah. So that's why Michael Myers might show up. Michael Myers might not show up. Each show, to me, seems like a different concept and idea that you guys are going to... You're not going to play every weekend. No. You're going to put on a rock show specific times of the year where you plan for quite some time on, on, on the theatrics that are involved with this. Their lights and all that are amazing, like most rock shows. But then you bring in the... Uh, the top hat you got and uh yeah we choreograph a lot of our show <laughs> from song to songs and and like a parade when you're at parades they're always throwing things out you're always catching so we have a lot of things that we give out to the fans and and it's just a fun fun show for crucifixes <laughs> oh, yeah, he with you a little on him. Hit in the face with a rosary or something. You a know? Bible, I, I, a, a Bible sign. might explode. A, what's that? A Bible might explode. A, but I got my holy uh, fire book, right. which in a, I'll, here's my holy fire hot sauce <laughs> from our song Holy Fire. But yeah, book catches on fire. And there, there's a lyric video for that song, I believe. The, the, the drummer the wrote that, that the Holy Fire song, and he actually works at the crematory down the road. No, I don't know. <laughs> hey, that one sounded good. I like that. <laughs> Believe him. <laughs> so so, I, 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 do, I, I, so hey, I got a question. That, that, it's that, not all horror. Bagpipe players show yes. up every once in a while. I'm yes. just saying, there's there's a twist. Yeah. Bagpipes. Didn't see coming. You got the John Ford pipe band. That we met from the funeral home. Yeah. Oh, wow. everyone has to go through the funeral home at some point. I'm just saying that's a good place Can't to meet. Can't you feed me the wolves? 
Yeah, there, yeah, there was, a, uh, was it Claire up well, there? Well, you'll get the goblin one day to the funeral home. <laughs> but I'd rather be fed to the wolves. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So I do have a funeral home question, an actual question for few. So, uh -oh. so my, my dad passed away like 2017, right? And like funerals are expensive. Like if you don't have money and, and you find out what it costs to, to, to go do all this stuff, it's like, wow, it's a lot of money. And what, what kind of car you drive? <laughs> well, you got the title? Well, hey, we can work a deal out here. <laughs> I have a van with 260,000 miles. They wouldn't need, I like, just bury them in that, right? But, but I asked them, and, and my, my sister and I guess my, my stepmother or whatever, I didn't, like, thought it was, you know, I was trying to be funny, but I said, hey, you got any used caskets? And, and they're all like, oh, you're driving. No, like, seriously, you've never propped the body up and then, like, cremated them? That's now a used casket. I should get 10% off. So they do that, don't they? You, I'm not going to go back to the funeral home. Uh, they're say, only used once. <laughs> Next question. Yeah, see, that, that's, that's all I was saying. Not 10% yeah. off for me. Give me one of them to stay. you got to ask, okay. which is your <laughs> cheapest <laughs> casket? What's the cheapest right. casket? Oh, believe me, I was down to those. <laughs> I, can I just make my own? i got a can this shop. Man. <laughs> that, Whenever there's a stain, we just flip the pillow over. So I, have a very <laughs> similar, I have a very similar story. I went to bury my dad, and I said, he wants a used casket. Do you have one? And they did. See? They, I the, So... I got, I got. He told me. Don't, I don't work for a guy that does business like that. I'll say that. <laughs> See, now I was. I knew they had. I'm pretty sure he said they cremated the guy, and that's why it was left over. I don't know, but. I would. My dad would love that. My dad would love that. So it was perfect. That's. I, I felt the same way. I'm like, my dad likes a bargain. Let's let's get the use. Let's roll out the use. How many miles on this one? You know, it's got a CD player in it. Yeah. Not sure what that has to do with bagpipes, but well, why do the bagpipe right, players come? <laughs> Back to the bagpipes. I assume so the first Irishman that made bagpipes was like Scottish. I took a bag and Scottish. I Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. His best I'm friend Scottish. He don't even don't know. Don't you know that? <laughs> she, she was up at the one cemetery. Of his, one of his best friends wears a kilt. So I'm just saying he should know. Go ahead. Tell us the bagpipe story. Well, she she was up there playing Amazing Grace. And then uh, I guess Doug went up and said, "Hey, you want a job?" <laughs> you know, no. it just worked out. I don't know. It yeah. just did. You know, you see the you know, bagpipers, and then it just kind of rolls out from there. So I like to make fun of him because, as he said, my the guy I grew up living in this house. My best friend for the longest time is very Scottish. Had bagpipes at his wedding, and you know, so he's into it. So of course, I can't help but be like, "How do you tell the difference between a good bagpipe player and a bad bagpipe player?" <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> here's a good yeah, one. That's Brr, a here's a question. Roll out. Too. <laughs> I, I think they're awesome, but I can't help but make fun of the Scottish when you grow up in a house with Scottish people. Sure. It's just the way it is. All right. So you start out jamming with uh, Johnny Rod, and, and that's not the only famous player you guys have played okay. with, Zigzag, right? Teddy Zigzag, yes. Yes. He's got a heart of gold. Right, and he uh, played on the latest record, right? Yeah, and yeah. he flew in for our, our show, or one of our Halloween shows. He flew out from Van Ives all the way out here just to play with us, man. And we did two uh, shows that weekend. They were Halloween gigs, man. Right, and, and for was... those who don't know, fill us in on who Tony's played with. Teddy. Our Teddy. Teddy. I'm oh. Teddy. <laughs> Teddy. I don't know why I said Tony, but... <laughs> Teddy Maybe is, I'm hungry. <laughs> Tony the Tiger. Uh, Teddy has played with uh, uh, Alice Cooper. Right. He's played with Guns N' Roses. He's played with uh, Michael Jackson. Hey. He's played <laughs> Torchlight Parade. He's Torch played with Parade. Torchlight Parade. He's played with <laughs> Billy Bob oh, Thornton. He's played with Carol Keen. Oh, he's yeah. he's uh, yeah, he's uh, one of the best blues players of all time. Walter Trout. He's on tour with yeah. him right now. Yeah. I mean Teddy, and that's just he's been on like. Just all over the place, man. Look I at mean, your credits. You'll probably find him, right? Yeah. On, on any of your vinyl that you have, hopefully. So <laughs> so, so, there's another GNR He wants the vinyl. He, play, he said he <laughs> played with Guns N' Roses. Yes. And, and, and you've got Oh, you're going to bring that up. you got another Guns N' Roses. Uh, uh, He's a... He just shows up like he one time in a Stump, RFT Stump article. <laughs> <laughs> Stump Stevenson loves us, and and and, and, how, and he's connected with Guns and Roses too, or at least he was connected with Axl Rose's open hand smack at one point for taking a picture back in the day. Yeah, he got uh, attacked by Axl. Poor uh, guy. Who, who hasn't been attacked by Axl? He's like a feral cat. Yeah, that's true. 
So yeah, yeah. Of course, Soul Stumpy hey, got paid. So so so, <laughs> so, so, so I, I just want to know if like you got a show and Stump's out in the show and Ted's on stage and Stump wants a picture. Are things gonna go awry? Uh, he, Could we see? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I think his uh, his riot days are over. He uh, was between me and Dougie when we were what first or second row at the Judas Priest and. And uh, Stump was between me and Doug, and I grab him one arm, and Doug grabs him. I go, let's throw him on stage. And, yeah. and boy, you should have seen him, dude, like a wild cat get he's out about, of there. He goes, don't toss me, don't toss me, guys. He's about four foot tall. And then we were just joking, but boy, he, I saw fear in his eyes. He, he, did, he didn't think, he thought we were going to toss him. Yeah, he him, thought, man. yeah, because we tower over him. But <laughs> shout out to Stump Stevenson and Southside Five. Mm, That's his go. band. Yeah. The, the funny thing about Southside Five is only four guys in the band. I don't know why they're called nine. <laughs> it's either four or six. Four yeah, or yeah. it's definitely not five. That's all I know. And we actually share um, a father. Southside, no, yeah. Southside Five's yeah, guitarist. Yeah. Okay. With our band, Billy. Oh, Billy. Okay. He plays for Stump and his Southside Five, yeah. and, and then he plays a, for us. This is a very incestuous situation. Like you guys yeah. are all connected. I, this guy plays with that band. He's with that band. He took my hey, that's and, Mark Quinn talked about once that. Once removed, it's, different yeah. <laughs> South cities, <laughs> kind of like it's, Mark Quinn's it, side yeah, of town. I guess. It's like what happens in St. Louis, <laughs> just on the South Side, man. But these connections now, you end up opening for Quiet Riot. Quiet Riot. Yep. And how long ago was that? Because um, talk about funeral home business. Yeah, you know. we were the last show Frank Benali played. Okay. Yeah, because and uh, I think that's it for them after that. Yeah. Well, uh, are they back or yeah, they're back? But okay. they're a whole new. Yeah, there's no Rudy Zerso's with. Well, Rudy Zerso's with. Did he go yeah. back? But Carlos Carvaza, he's play, actually playing with with Johnny Rod and King Cobra right now. Isn't that something? Yeah. Yeah. So again, they, yeah, they're singers. Just a bunch of little circles. Jizzy yeah. Pearl. Yeah. So right, okay. where'd you guys uh, open for Quiet Riot at? Diamond Music Hall. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, Metal Church. You mentioned them. Metal Church. Yep. Uh, autograph. Autograph. Yeah, that was at Delmore Hall. Faster Pussycat. We played with them a few times. Bisto Blanco. Now Bisto Blanco is Alice Cooper's daughter, Calico Cooper. Wow. And, and Chuck Garrett is Alice Cooper's bass player at Nava Band called Bisto Blanco. We did a couple shows with them. Ryan Roxy plays with Alice Cooper. We played the pre-Alice Cooper party. We opened for Ryan before he, Alice was in town the next night. Mm. Um, Band Tango, we uh, played with them. Striper? Uh, Striper, yeah. Mm -hmm. Striper. That ought to have been interesting. You guys and Striper. Oh, that was a that was a really good... <laughs> oh, I love Striper. Yeah, yeah. They're I cool. love Striper. They're cool. Uh, but oh, no, we got... Bass band right there, isn't it? That's the dude from Head East. Uh, the, the, the striper. Yeah. Oh no, they're they're out from California. Yeah. Okay. That's, Christian, oh, that was metal. Christian metal. Yeah, yes. I, I was just, but they, that's what I thought he did. Young one the black. Head East. That did. did they maybe that's Petra. Was that's the one Petra. Yeah, yeah. Which is another great band. I was gonna say that they were John they were Schlitt. Kind of in the John, you're band. thinking of John Schlitt, yeah, the singer yeah. for Head East, played yeah. with Petra. There you yeah, go. He was actually the second singer. Greg right. Volts was the original. Yes, there you go. I, 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 as soon as you said Striper, I pictured Head East because I worked with them guys way back uh, in the day or whatever. But uh, and I, I was thinking, oh, that's that guy from Head East. But yeah, D D Petra Striper. Same, yeah, no, that's yeah, 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 good uh, stuff. Yeah, so there you go. How about King Cobra? There's a connection there, but you never did a show with them, I guess. Uh, not yet, but there's possibilities. Yeah. I actually wrote a song for King Cobra for Carmine. Me and Matt, we played, uh, at one time it was here in Alton, we played a music store, it was Carmine Peace was doing his uh, drum clinics. Okay. Yeah. And Alton me, Sound Spot. <laughs> and, yeah, and, uh, Billy uh, Peak showed up. Oh, okay. And, yeah. and we did, it was two nights, and... We played cactus, old cactus stuff. Right, nice. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's learned, good stuff. I yeah. had to sing Evil in, in Parchment Farm. Yeah, and nice, I learned a guitar nice. solo for Parchment Farm. That's oh, my stuff, gosh. Do those but, yeah. that, that was that, that music store you're talking about was the Halpin Sound Spot. Halpin Music Company yep. sponsors our show, so big okay, cool. shout out to them for way back. When I remember they had the big circle great. windows. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's Halpin, yeah, man. Yeah. I, I, yeah. As soon as you said the drum clinic said Carmine and Peace, I was there. Uh, matter of fact, the guy that we were talking about, the Scottish yep. guy that I lived with, he we're sat in, in uh, one of the drummers <laughs> for that, uh, for one of them got sick, and he sat in with Uriah Heep and like, a, yeah. you know, whoever was Ken there. Ken Hensley's from St. Louis, well, yeah. he, but he passed. Yeah, that, so there, 
But, that's a big shout out to Halpin Music for sponsors. What eight, seven, eight years now. So there yeah, you go. yeah, I don't even know how long it's been. Too long since too yesterday. Long. So there you go. And, and just to remind everybody, we're talking to Matt Engel and Doug Engel. They are from Torchlight Parade, and Hello. next to them. Is Conrad the Caterpillar? Uh, we got we got Conrad. Pigpen made that up. <laughs> right. yeah, I right. made that up. I don't know. <laughs> he's he's gonna <laughs> metamorphosize right before my eyes. He's gonna leave here a butterfly. I don't uh, know. I'll hear, I'll I'll hear about it tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you will. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I'm gonna bring that little buck. I think my kids got the green one that no, eats I'll through. I'll bring stuff. mine. I have one. <laughs> You don't have to worry about it. We're here See? talking about April 22nd at Casa Loma in St. Louis with the Torchlight Parade. Opening yep. for them, Red, White, and Floyd, and uh, Jojo Matea also on the bill, starting things off. So all kinds of great music and, most importantly, for a great cause. And uh, that's kids with cancer. And uh, that's enough. Those two words together ought to ring a bell to uh, get out and uh, support this event. And uh, what if they can't make it? Is there a way people can donate uh, online or something? Yeah, there is. You can go to the St. Baldrick's Foundation website. Um, you can search for a couple things. Uh, Team Brett 2023. Um, that's one option. You can um, search for, um, let me get my notes here, third annual Rock for Brett Concert for a Cause Benefiting Childhood Cancer Research. You can search for that, too. It all goes to the same fund on the St. Baldrick's Foundation website, www.stbaldricks.org. Okay. And search for Team Brett 2023 or third annual Rock for Brett Concert for a Cause. It'll get you there. But we suggest coming out and party. Yeah, yeah. come out to oh, yes. yeah. and, and Raffles. If and if you're sitting there going, man. I really want to do it, and I'd love to be a part of it and go down and be part of the raffles, but you're you're afraid of that door cost, which it's all for a good cause right. anyway. But they've, they've supplied us with some, some free tickets here, people. So And for those not familiar with Casa Loma Ballroom, this is a nice place to have this type of event, right? This is a oh, beautiful yeah. building. Yeah. It's, it's very it's, swanky. It's, they won't even let me <laughs> in. Yeah. It's nice. They they're smart. They they stop me at the. You can wear like, one of them t-shirt tuxedo t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> I've seen you in drag there, so I know they let you in. Or it's was it midget cool. wrestling? One of them. Yeah, know. maybe that was Rocky Horror First of all, <laughs> first of all, I'm two inches too tall to be a statutory midget, so that wasn't me. And, uh, I don't. Oh, know. I thought you were standing up the whole I, time. <laughs> I am. I am. But you know, I got a fun question. Was it you that, vi that visited Giza? Did I see pictures of who was That was Danny. That was Danny. Okay. Yeah, when he went to Egypt and oh. he took the picture. He was yeah. wearing our shirt. Any uh, connection to Aleister Crowley and a possible uh, marriage yes. with Danny? Uh, I'm just curious once again. Anyways. Dude, that was cool. Dude, I, I played. He goes, I'm going to wilt. Egypt. I said, dude, please, please wear the shirt at the at the pyramid, man. Yeah, <laughs> he did. He, a cool photo. Danny travels all over the place, man. I see. In fact, it. that's why he, he actually couldn't be here tonight because he's in some other state tonight. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I'm traveling in Balmer. Uh, no, he we does got, something my grandpa else. did that. <laughs> <laughs> we got pyramids. You ever been to Cahokia? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How? You know the base of that that biggest mound over there, Monk's Mound, same dimensions as the Pyramid of Giza. Really? Yeah. It's almost like somebody knew. Yeah. It's almost like this was Egypt once. Oh, was I even here at all? Do, 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 it's almost <laughs> like an eclipse is going to cross <laughs> in Little <laughs> Egypt on the twenty. <laughs> 24. It's gonna round. be making big X. Yeah, the big X. You know. Yeah, man. See, these guys are Illuminati. They Look, gotta be. I I've been to truth.com, <laughs> and I think it's all wrong. <laughs> no. <laughs> I tell you I, what, I, I'm professional. <laughs> <laughs> I see the they pucker your guy in a bit. Say the right oh, words. A bunch of <laughs> monarchy. <laughs> Since we say, uh, what's not wrong is getting out and partying and raising money for kids that have no. cancer. They, they, first of all, getting out and partying right. never wrong, as far right. as I can tell. Never wrong. April twenty second, doing it for a good cause. For all those right. stoners who forget four twenty, you'll remember by the twenty second and show up. Yeah, right. that's right. Floyd will be there, man. Just right. right up the alley. Right. right. 
about the time your 420 buzz is starting to wear thin, it's going to be 422. Yeah. And you're going to go, what was we supposed to do today? This is it, man. This is it. <laughs> uh, and, and again, this is in South City. Yes. South City. So uh, just go to St. Louis and go south. What, what's, what's got a, a basic address or be like? It's street. like around, like, I guess, it was Cherokee Street. Oh, okay. okay. There. there we go. Yeah. 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 Uh, the uh, historic Loma. Cherokee What, what do you got, Conrad? What do you got? Yep. Yeah, it's um, the, cost, the famous St. Louis Casa Loma Ballroom at 3354 Iowa Avenue in South St. Louis. There you go. Yeah. Iowa Avenue. Great venue. Torchlightparade.com. There's information there. We got some really cool baskets that we're going to be auctioned off. We've been seeing them lately come in, and of course, we got the wheel oh, barrel full of booze. That's right. Yeah. yeah a lot yeah. of fun stuff. To we got a lot of there. good sponsors. Any of your rock star friends possibly autographing something that might be available for him? Just yeah, they're gonna all they're gonna they're gonna autograph a sorority sized vat of KY jelly that will also die. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> we got a winner. <laughs> you already got it in your car. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to be signed, man. So I can take it home. <laughs> An autographed coffin. An autographed well, coffin. That might be interesting. Well, uh, slightly used. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's the way yeah. I like. It. I, I don't. We'll cut. We, yeah, we got some things. Yeah. Got a stain on the pillow. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, always a bargain too at a at a raffle. You, you of course, fifty fifty, all that oh, stuff, oh, right? Oh. You got food and all that planned, or uh, there will be a lot of <coughs> booze. I think there's going to be uh, bring your food. Okay. And uh, well, they'll, they'll have some things. They might have. We're talking about maybe like hot dogs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, some other simple. snacks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, snacks. Yeah, there'll there'll be no a bar. There'll be a bar. Steak and lobster. Off a coffin full of hot dogs. Yeah. Uh. It's fake news. It's fake news. <laughs> so this starts at five thirty, I believe. Doors right. open at five thirty. Okay. JoJo would come on around six ish. In uh, Cat Muse, shout out to Cat Muse. Oh yeah, Cat. Okay. She's going to be uh, doing uh, the DJ work there. Nice. So she's our MC for the evening. You've yes. been on her show. Uh, yeah. Yes. In the past, yep. many times. Yeah. Yeah. So. In what station is she on, man? <laughs> What station are you on? That's a good question. The broadest station? <laughs> ah, Space boy. station number five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Number nine, number yeah. nine, number nine, number nine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is this. So, this yeah. Is Rock for Brett. Concert for a Cause. April 22nd. This is the third annual. You can say annual a third. Yeah, yeah. First two you can't, but right. by the third you've earned it. So. And, uh. Plenty of time to get dinner before you show up at 5.30 when the doors open and uh, you start getting uh, loose before JoJo Matea comes on and then Red, White, and Floyd and then the big uh, event at the end with Torch Light Parade in there. You still got the Ryobi leaf blower? <laughs> I'm, it that's our spe- start. It's our <laughs> special <laughs> effects, man. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> He's showing we got to blow them balloons so out somehow. Like he was there the whole time. <laughs> and I think of course. Yeah. Yes. But he's really showing them behind the curtain, man. He's kind of letting your secrets out. I Balloons. Just, I went to their website, torchlightparade.com, spent about 15 minutes so looking around. I. I had to scrub my browser like nobody's business with the, <laughs> some of the stuff they were showing me, what they did with that Ryobi blower. <laughs> he took confetti and blew it all over a clown's face. It was crazy. Yeah, you know, we okay. need that to clean up. That's how, and that's and how crazy the show were. gets. Check out their latest release, <laughs> Never Laugh, when a hearse rolls by. And how about the new one? When's that? Uh, the new, uh, our new album? The newest. Album? Yeah, when's that? We're under construction. What Under construction. Did you mention uh, Sam Bam? Sam uh, Bam Cunningham? Uh, Sam Bam Colton uh, okay. from Faster Pussycat. Okay. He played uh, the lead. I asked him to uh, play the lead uh, guitar on Never Laugh, when a hearse rolls by, the, the song. And uh, you can hear him tear that up, man. He he really he's something else on that guitar. But um, as far as the new one, hopefully we're going to shoot for this year to get it out in 2023. Trying to get some other special guests. We're working on it right now. All right. Yeah, and that are going to be bigger. really cool special guests. Okay. So. With the parade, man, anybody can be in the parade if you got some skill. So except you, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was just getting ready to raise my hand and be like, "Hey, I, I, I parade." We are we are ghost hunters, by the way. 
<laughs> yeah, you know the guys from A and E, the the Ghost Hunters. They're from Alton. Uh, A&E, a couple that's of them. Artist. And uh, <laughs> so we're not really ghost hunters, but we tagged along with them a couple times and watched. take some pictures. Yeah. Did you see any orbs? Actually, this building here, which we got YouTube videos all about that, but yeah. And Wadlow's down the street, right? The giant. Yeah, the giant, exactly. Yeah. In Little Egypt, we're not too far away, so yeah, yep. plenty of uh, fun stuff happening around here, including yes. April twenty second yeah. at Castle, which is probably haunted. Probably, yeah. A lot con- of famous. It people. will be. We made contact <laughs> with some uh, uh, prostitutes who had passed. <laughs> true story. It's true, true story. story. Uh, it's a hotel, so I just assumed at least some of them were prostitutes. It kind of looks like a brothel. Yeah. That was uh, well, well, that was Doctor Lynch. <laughs> that was was that Doctor Lynch? Yeah. I can't. I just yeah. remember it happening. I don't remember. We were myself. investigating the first time with Doctor Lynch, and uh, they said the ghosts were transients, and he, you know, assumed that meant not all of them, but some are going to be working yeah. girls. You know, they were like he, she, ghost. Uh, I don't know. I, I just want to know how this works. Do I got to pay in real money or ghostly money? Because I, I, you guys both. ever seen a ghost? How can you tell when they all got sheets on? <laughs> <laughs> you guys would be the perfect place to see a ghost. Any ghost story? Yeah, oh, I've seen talk them. about that on the air. I've oh. seen them. Yeah, <laughs> no big deal. He says. <laughs> yeah, it happens all the it's time. It's an old hat. They made a movie, <laughs> Ghostbusters, about it. Yeah. That slime. Are you a god? Uh, well, there you, you go. You got the perfect fan. voice for that. Yeah. <laughs> Say it. Are you a god? Are oh, you a god? <laughs> <sighs> I've never seen the movie. No, I'm just really? kidding. <laughs> <laughs> of course I've seen the movie. Sure. I'm the gatekeeper. I am the gatekeeper. I'm the key best. Uh, <laughs> you got to admit, Dr. Vecton was so hot. Mm. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's what not what you were thinking. That's just what I was thinking. I'm just saying. All right, so let's 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 just one more time. Let's let's get this information out. If people haven't heard yet, it is April twenty second, Casa Loma in South City, and it is Rock for Brett the third annual. Uh, big thanks to to Conrad Talbrish, uh, Brett's father, who has been uh, sitting in here uh, telling us about Brett, telling us about the fight, and uh, at all the great things that you are doing uh, to raise money for. All the other kids, you know, who are going to have to go through Children's or wherever. Uh, thank you so much for that. Thanks for being down here. No, thanks for having us on. And I'd, I'd, I'd just like to make sure that the guys from Torchlight Parade get get all the credit that that's due. I mean, I'm I'm just sitting here and uh, talking, and I tell my story about my son. These are the guys that are doing all the work. Um, um, Matt and Doug, all the guys from Torchlight Parade. And just to give you a go back to the to the beginning. Uh, this is the third annual yeah. Rock for Brett concert. The first one was actually um, in 2021, our our main team Brett event at Helen Fitzgerald's, which shut down. Okay. And it all went virtual, and team Brett was in big trouble. We were at risk of not making our, our $10,000 goal that year. Wow. And with, with maybe two weeks left, uh, Torchlight Parade stepped up. Matt and Doug approached nice. me. Nice. And said we'd like to put on a benefit for you. We're having a party at a friend's house, the huge castle, just down the street from my uh, where I live, yeah. where that wow. their friend Kevin owns. We're having a party. Let's make it into a fundraiser. And at the last minute, they they put us over the top. And that wow. was the first nice. year with 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 like two weeks to plan for this. And it's um, so like every, every year hour. since then they they've, <laughs> they've come out to help us out and put us over our fundraising goal. They put us over our fundraising yeah. goal. So I got to give. All the credit to these guys, as as crazy as um, as they are, and and the out the over the top outrageous show they put on. Their fathers too, and their friends. They're good guys. Every guy in that band is incredible. So I got to give make sure they get all the credit for this event. So bring all your friends out to this show. Yes, yeah. yes, we we're we're gonna pack it. We're listen. You're gonna be world famous once once you talk to us. People are gonna know. <laughs> Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> the lines are lighting up right now. This is our for first like caller. Click. You guys are sold out, right? Just, just for me, being not. That, yeah. None of that's true. I'd uh, like to, uh, I'd like to thank Brett uh, for inspiring all of this uh, yeah. and his fight, uh, and, and always being happy and not complaining through all of it. And uh, that attitude right there is what brings all of us together to help raise money. And now, hopefully, he's saved some other kids' lives 
by his uh, yeah. passing and his positive attitude. So, yeah, uh, yeah shout out to Brett. Uh, inspired yeah. all of this. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So. and uh, I also want to thank our sponsors, Halfa Music Company and Mr. Matt Van Voorst of Macias Insurance. Big weekend this Sexy weekend, uh, Pigpen. We got we got the big country uh, <laughs> show out at the uh, Klein Hall Bethalto with Billy Hurst and Charlie Brown, Kyle Greenwell wow. going to be there, <laughs> Kenny Jamison. Yeah. Nice. So, big weekend right there in Mithalto. The Intrusion's playing the Sports Tap on Friday night this Excellent. weekend. So, that's Excellent. pretty cool. They just uh, played for the Battle Hawks. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Like to see that. There you go, and that's why we uh, bring that up, because we want you to get out there and support all local music and art, because uh, some of these bands are going to be giving up their time in the future to raise money for good causes, just like the one we talked about tonight, and uh, this event taking place once again, April 22nd, Casa Luma uh, Ballroom, Loma, Luma. (laughs) Anyways, uh, just uh, go to the... uh, torchlightparade.com website and uh, check out everything there and you'll find out all the information you need you old fashioned you websites I love them <laughs> there you go thanks again Matt Engel Doug Engel and Conrad the Caterpillar Pillar I got messed it up that time Conrad the Cal- Caterpillar actually Conrad Talbridge for uh, coming down everybody uh, if you can make it down to South City on April 2nd but no matter what just get out and support local music and art 22nd 